Hello everyone and uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the SJRC Z5 GPS folding drone model. Uh, looking at the box, it looks very good. Um, it seems to be a standard um, practice now of just having a very plain box with a DJI-esque presentation of the product. Uh, yeah, very good indeed. Right, okay, so uh, what's it telling us about this drone on the box? Uh, well, you can see it looks it does look very sleek it looks very well designed um, this is the brushed version to the SJRC F11 which is virtually the same as this but obviously it's uh, brushless motors so this is a foldable design here and it says it has GPS with return to home function a point of interest uh, I believe that's you're gonna have more of this function using the app than you would with just the uh, remote controller but we're getting to that a bit later you also have a waypoint flight capability active track a hand gesture and approximately 15 minutes flight time it says that we've also got some further information on the box which says uh, GPS features follow me active track waypoint flight hand gesture GPS return home GPS positioning and hold geo fencing uh, having a look at the app, yes, I can see that that's there already. Uh, and we also have low battery return mode, which, yes, that is a very good, especially in this price bracket. Uh, In-flight features, we've got headless mode, auto takeoff landing, auto hover, nine axis gyroscope. Uh, I'm, yeah, fairly used to the six axis, so in theory, nine axis gyroscope should be uh, make it handle a little bit better, I would have thought. Uh, that help with the um, yeah with the GPS positioning and what have you. So yeah, right. um, okay. So, and it says we got color coded dual LED lights. Uh, the HD Wi-Fi camera, yeah, 1080p camera, I believe. And so it says it's a 90 degree articulating wide angle lens. Okay, so what that means is it's via the transmitter you can control. It's a one axis camera, go up or down. Okay, so and it can take SD memory cards or micro SD menu memory cards of up to 32 gig. The transmitter has a built in 7.4 1.2 milliamp lithium ion battery, uh, which you charge via USB port. And I'll show you that um, an LED charge level indicator, a micro SD USB port, a charge time 110 minutes. And uh, let's have a look here. Flight time about 15 minutes, match control distance up to 600 meters. Um, yes, uh, from what of the videos that people have done already on YouTube, it would seem to uh, bear that out. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, look forward to testing that when I get some decent weather. Uh, okie dokie, image transmission range. Okay, so we've got up to either 150 meters or 400 meters that's depending up to 490 yeah okie okay, dokie okay. uh, so it needs to be outdoor and unobstructed obviously and and the quality of your mobile device okay, okay. the range is also up to 600 meters the max height 120 meters well that's already built in that's good so that complies with the UK uh, uh, regulations and the max speeds up to 20 miles an hour okay though well, let's have a look in the box and um, see what the contents are okay so here we are with the contents of the box um, one thing I will say is the box is quite sturdy and it's been very well presented and very well packed so I think for the price that this is going out for um, it's it's very good value it's very good quality I've taken it out for a test flight already and it's one of those drones that you just know it feels locked in as soon as you uh, as soon as you begin to fly it. Some drones you add a you have a bit of a uh, a bit of bit of bit of a doubt about the reliability. And for me, I think most of us can um, go back to the Seafly Obtain when that was first released. That was um, that was a bit. There was a bit of a 50-50 chance whether you'd actually see that again once it, it took off. 
Um, certainly that was the case um, when I first flew mine. So uh, right, let's have a look at the drone. Okay, so you have a box of spare blades, you have a USB charger, and you use this to charge. You can either charge your transmitter, which has a built-in battery by there, or you can use it to charge your main flight battery here as well. And these flight batteries very well designed to fit in with a nice positive click set there so you know it's not going to come out in flight just press and hold there and you can see the batteries charge press and hold until all the lights go out again okay right so with this I believe uh, you fold the yes you fold the front ones out first sorry the rear ones out first then you fold the rear ones out okay right uh, the front ones out okay so i've got the free battery version um i thought it was quite a good value very good value in here you have a nice little manual uh, the writing once again is quite small but it is very well explained and what I find even better once you download the app, there's a quick start guide on the app as well, which is um, even better. So, uh, right, let's go through the setup procedure. Oh, by the way, let me just show you. Here we go, on the side of the box, here are your QR codes for your app store and Android. Okay, they're also duplicated in the small manual we have here. Once again, for Apple, and there's your Android system. Okay, so very quick, didn't take long to install at all, and it won't take much room up on your uh, mobile phone. Okay, so these, unlike some brushed quadcopters, these aerials are actually both of them are actually real so uh, don't be folding uh, into thinking that they don't actually do anything they do because you have one which is a relay for your Wi-Fi signal for your mobile phone okay so let's stick the mobile phone in the phone holder which can go up to a reasonable size uh, this phone I've got here is a Nokia 5 and um, not the biggest, but it's certainly not the smallest. Uh, on also the transmitter, we have these very nice little extensions here just to give you something extra to uh, hold on to there. Right, in relation to transmitter, I believe this is your headless button. This is your automatic takeoff and landing button, your on and off button and your return to home this is your speed rate switch funnily enough it's a uh, it's a dial here so plus there for once twice three times and reverse for um, stepping down a gear it's your photo button here is your video button and this dial here this will control your camera's orientation okay as I say it's one it's one axis okay which is fixed in flight so it's not going to automatically balance itself um, if the quad cops is going forward like that it will still re remain in a position you set it okay let's switch the drone on um, actually before going over the drone we we'll have a very quick look. Uh, I believe on the F11, which is the brush uh, brushless version, I think there's going to be a uh, image sensor there for uh, stabilisation. 
uh, other, other than that, it's going to be sort of virtually the same. These are your, br your brush. This is the brush motor version, as I've said before. Right. Okay. So let's turn it on. And you can see you've got white lights at the front, real, and uh, blue lights at the back, which now they've all turned red. So we turn it on. You see that's flashing again, and you can actually hear the gyro stabilising. So that's an automatic feature. You don't have to do that, but you can do. There, there is a function to do that when you're setting it up later. Okay, so down and up to bind. And as you can see, it's now flashing. So, right, what we now need to do is to calibrate it. And let's have a look. We will do... So it's now on the level service, power on change, and you connect, connect the app. So it talks about connecting the app first off, but we won't quite do that yet. Okay, right, so we need to put the joysticks into the 1 and 11 o'clock position in order to start the compass calibration process. And as you can see there, the lights have changed and now rapidly blinking. So what we're going to do, uh, you won't be able to see this in the video. We're just going to pick it up and rotate it clockwise one direction and as you can see the lights there have now become solid uh, so you pick the drone up again and it will go face down and you will now do one circle in a clockwise direction and now you can see that all the lights are now flashing now what that's now doing now is it's now collecting its GPS information that it needs. Now, I referred to the manual calibration, which you can do, which is the gyro calibration. You don't actually need to do that, but if I just follow that right, okay. Um, if you do wish to calibrate your gyro manually, these sticks will go to the 11 o'clock and the 2 o'clock position and as you can see the lights change there and what we're waiting now for is the GPS, uh, the, the drone to gather all its GPS information that it needs. So while that's waiting, while, while we're waiting for it to do that, we're going to go into the app which I've downloaded. Uh, for my particular phone, I need to go into my settings first, and I can see that it's already connected there, but I'm w I need to wait for my notification. So, okay, that's lovely. So I can either cancel, go back into that, and we're just waiting for a notification. Here we go. I press yes. So, right, sh all should be ready to go, hopefully. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm just going to show you the quick start guide and this is very good for 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 an app uh, very good indeed right okay so you can see there's a, a lot of functions there which explains basically what I've just done in terms of setting up the drone ready for flight okay so you have other functions here uh, if you want a quick route into your uh, your photos and your video library you can go into that way I've not used that one but I'd imagine you can you might be able to connect to SJRC oh no there we go uh, we have some different uh, options for you just the explanation of what all the functions of the app will provide for you okay let's go into the controls hopefully we get an image here we there we go as you can see, just by looking at it, you can see it's, it's a little bit different from your normal brushed drone app. You have a few more, um, a bit more information. You've, you've got your distance, your height. There we go. And some more information there for you. You've got your, your state of charge for your transmitter and your drone as well. 
Okay, so let's go on to here. Right, okay, so here's your active track functions should you want to use those. Uh, automatic take, I won't use that. Uh, I think actually you need to, uh, there we go, you need to slide to confirm. Uh, we'll cancel that for the time being. Uh, automatic takeoff again, yep, yeah, okay, so VR mode. Yep, yeah, there you go. It's got a record of what I've used. As you can see, I've only flown it indoors. The weather's so terrible down here at the moment. A little bit of snow and what have you. But, uh, yeah, that's, that is fantastic. It's, um, um, it's a bit DJI-esque, I suppose, but it's laid out in a better format. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a, 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 little, a little picture, shall we? and we'll do a video and of course yes it's that awful beat that uh, <clears throat> it's probably one of the more annoying things about this drone is that beat but at least you know it is recording and what else shall we do whilst we're here well, no we won't do anything else we'll now take it out and for a little fly and assess its performance but i'm sure anyone who has been interested in this drone like me has been waiting for a long time and has already seen lots more uh, lots of other videos uh, regarding this um let's do the camera I don't know if you can see there, the camera moving. Right, okay, we'll take it out to uh, local farmer's field, I think, and uh, we'll assess its performance. And the video that, I've t that I will take um, from my hat cam and the SD micro, uh, or the SD micro card, micro SD card, I should say, that's gone on here, I'll download and put on the end of this video. Once again, um, thank you for stopping by my little channel, and uh, we'll see you again shortly. Cheerio. Finally, I've got another five minutes to come out and do a test flight. This time, we're going to take a look at the SJRC Z5. I've got it here, it's all ready. Uh, it's all bound, calibrated, GPS locked on. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to find how many GPS signals we've got. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bars. So uh, what that exactly means, I don't know. It's slightly different from the uh, Vizio um, app. But uh, right, OK. Uh, the other thing I've done is taken it off beginner mode and I've now set the flight distance 266 metres, the flight altitude at 59 metres and the return altitude at 34 metres. So uh, right, let's put it into rate two. We've got a beautiful, fairly beautiful day today, fairly misty or foggy and the sun's just poking through. The wind's coming from, I'd say, the southeasterly direction at the moment. It's only about five miles an hour. So, without further ado, um, let's take off and uh, hopefully we can uh, see what this um, little machine can achieve. Although, previous reviews seem to um, rate this very highly, so uh, let's have a go and uh, see how we do. So, it's uh, holding its position very well there. You can see the speed of the wind um, in the trip in the clouds over there. Um, we are somewhat sheltered a little bit by these trees, so hopefully um, it's not going to affect it too much. It doesn't weigh too much this drone. Okay, here we go. Well, that looks straight and true, doesn't it?
I'm going to press, uh, let's take a quick photograph. There you go. Right, let's take a video, shall we? Let's, uh, there we go. At least you know you're taking a video. <laughs> you should be in no doubt. This is a nice quadcopter, very, very nice. SJRC have really done their homework on this one. It looks nice. It, uh, and for a brush drone, I'm very impressed. I believe, I think I'm in rate 3. There we go, let's, I'm definitely in rate 3 now. Oh yeah, it can move. Yeah, I... I'm really of the opinion, and I concur with all the other previous videos on this drone, you're not going to have a problem with this, you're going to be, this is an excellent value for money. Let's test out the return to home feature, shall we? Let's, uh, let's go out a while, and we go, give it a climb. Okay, let's just hold her there. I see I've got a bit of video lag there. Let's try return to home. And I can see it's facing towards home. I'll move out of the way slightly. Uh, I'm on this little yellow, uh, sorry, on this little concrete patch here. Let's see, let's see how fast it goes. and it's turning back round in the direction it took off and it's going to make a decision in a minute hopefully it's going to land and there we go, it's descending it's coming down very slowly take over from here okay right it took off from here and it's going to land about there so that's a good what four or five feet away I'd, I'd say uh, for, a pro for a drone of this price bracket in you know in my eyes that's very good one thing I would say is we have lost Wi-Fi contact 
let's just see if I can come out of there and go back into that again no so it seems as though you need to reset your Wi-Fi to connect with it again which is what I'm going to try and do there we go, let's do it all again No, it's not. A it's not. Still not giving me con uh, Wi-Fi signal. I wonder if that's got something to do with the battery. Okay, let's fly without the app. Let's just go in there again. And just see if anything's there. No. No, it's... Oh, well, it says I haven't got a video s signal, but it is giving me here my transmitter battery and my quad battery. So there must be some sort of signal coming through. Okay, we we'll fly as it is. Uh, the video is still recording, as you can hear, and I've still got it in rate 3. It's a shame about the uh, Wi-Fi link, but um, it's not the end of the world. This is speed rate 3, and you can see it's moving around, well it's pretty fast isn't it? Okay, let's bring her in. Uh, do you know what? I don't think anyone buying this is going to have any problem with that. Let's take it down into the lowest rate, rate one, and we'll bring her in for landing. Very, very gentle on the controls in uh, rate one. There we go. Um, altogether, very, very good flight. I really do rate this little drone. It's a very, very good value for money. The only thing I could, um, uh, the only criticism I have from what I've seen here is the Wi-Fi is not the most stablest of links. Once it goes, according to this phone, uh, very, very difficult to re reconnect. Uh, what, I'll, I'll give it another test with some uh, further flights and um, we'll, we'll um, hopefully it might improve and um, we'll, we'll wait and see. Let's turn this off. Um, thank you once again for joining on my channel. I hope this little drone impresses you. It certainly impressed me. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon. Cheerio.